All right, now we're gonna look at going from scientific to standard. So we're gonna convert a number like this into numbers that we're used to seeing. So the first thing that we do is move the decimal the same number of places as the exponent. The exponent tells us how many place values to move. Then if the exponent is positive, we will move the decimal to the right to make it larger. Positive exponent means large number. Then if the exponent is negative, we will move the decimal to the left to make the number smaller. Remember, negative exponent just means a small number. And then we will add zeros as placeholders if necessary. We do not ever round with scientific notation. All right, so let's look at this first one and our steps. So my exponent is six. That's how many times I'm going to move my decimal. Sometimes I find it helpful to write out the original decimal and then it makes it easier to count. I need to move it to the right since it is positive, the exponent, and I'm gonna move it to the right six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where my new decimal is gonna be and I'm going to have to one, two, three, add three zeros. Don't ever leave your number like this. That doesn't look good and that doesn't tell your teacher if you truly know how to convert. You need to rewrite it out now. Six, three, three, four, and then three zeros. And then you can go back and add your commas if you want. Okay, let's look at the next one. My exponent is a positive eight, so I need to move to the right eight times. I'm gonna do the same thing where I write out the original number, and then I need to move this decimal to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So I'm gonna have to add one, two, three, four zeros. So it'll be two, zero, zero, five, seven, and then one, two, three, four zeros. And you can go back and add your commas. Okay, these two are the same. We just have negative exponents, which means I will be moving to the left. Does not mean a negative number, it means a small number. So on this first one right here, my exponent is negative four. That means I will move to the left four with my decimal. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna add zeros in there. So it will be point zero 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 five nine three for my new number. Okay, last example here, negative five is my exponent, so I will move to the left five times with my decimal. One, two, three, four, five. There's my new decimal, and I will add zeros as placeholders. 0 0.12343402. Three, all right, now we are just going to sum up the four different types of scientific notation problems. We're gonna solve the problems below and write a short summary of the process. So this first one, it is in scientific notation and it has a negative exponent and I wanna convert it to standard. So negative exponent tells me how many places to move. I'm going to move left to make it smaller since it's negative, two decimal places. So 1.0203 is the original decimal, and I need to move it to the left twice. So I'm just gonna add one zero there. And my new number is 0 .01020 through. Don't ever round, this is how you need to write your final answer. So we moved, we moved the decimal left two since the exponent was a negative two. All 
Okay, now we have scientific with a positive exponent to standard form. So this time the exponent is positive 5. That means I will move to the right to make the number bigger 5 times. So original number is 9.908. 9 and I need to move this decimal to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So I'm going to add two zeros. And my new number is 990800. So we moved the decimal five to the right. Since the exponent was a positive 5. Okay, now we're going to go from standard to scientific. So first of all, since this number is small, it is less than 1, we start with a 0 here. That means I'm going to have a negative exponent. So it's going to be times 10, and I'm always going to have a negative. Now I'm going to decide how can I create a number between 1 and 10 with this decimal? And if I put the decimal there, 4.06 is between 1 and 10. And now I just need to count how many times I moved. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it was a small number. So the exponent is negative. Okay, last one. This is a big number, so I'm going to have a positive exponent. So it's going to be times 10, and then I'll have a positive exponent. Now I need to create a number between 1 and 10 with those digits. So if I move it behind the 4, 4 point whatever will be a number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to write out this whole decimal, 4.06089. And now I just need to count how many times I moved. There was an invisible decimal point at the end. And I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we had a positive exponent because it was a large number.